Tonight we're taking a look at Metro's safety culture after an accident that killed a contractor and left two other workers injured. This accident happened early yesterday morning between Union Station and Judiciary Square Station. And as uh, Raj Plater reports, some are concerned that Metro is now leading its own investigation. There are still questions about that early Sunday morning accident that killed a contract worker and left two Metro employees injured. The crew was replacing a section of track at Union Station when a small fire and blast erupted and a 40-foot section of track struck the men. Metro is promising a full investigation, but the head of the rail workers union says with the NTSB sidelined because of the government shutdown, she's concerned nobody's looking over Metro's shoulder. It's very uh, frustrating because the NTSB does oversee the safety of the workers. I would feel more comfortable if it is an outside entity that is um, looking into what happened. After a January 2010 accident that left two Metro workers dead, the NTSB SB said Metro did not have adequate safeguards in place. And after a deadly crash in 2009 that left nine people dead, the agency said Metro lacked a safety culture. I would tell anybody that I think WMATA is a safer um, environment than it was during the time of the, of the June 22nd accident, but I don't think they were there, there yet. We pose the question to riders. I trust the Metro. I think it's turned a leaf over the last few years. I think that. Um they should have an independent investigation. There is a Metro watchdog organization called the TOC, or the Tri-State Oversight Committee. That group's chairman says it will monitor Metro's investigation. And the company that employed the contract worker who died is also investigating what happened. At Union Station, I'm Ross Plater, ABC 7 News.